Is allulose a good sugar substitute? And then what adjustments do I need to make if I'm cooking or baking with allulose? Right. So allulose is a rare sugar. It's not metabolized by the body. It's something that's found in figs. And uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit. Uh, and studies have shown that 89 to 94% of allulose is excreted from the body, either through feces or urine or sweat. Um, so the rest, and then the rest is, I don't know what the body does with the last 11 to 6 to 11%. Um, but it has 0.4 calories. Whereas per gram. Per gram, whereas a gram of sugar has typically 4 calories. And it's about 70% as sweet as sugar. Which I think is actually really nice for the keto diet because I've found things are typically too sweet. So having a less sweet alternative to sugar I think is a really uh, good thing to have. So if you're worried about that, one tip would be to blend it with other sugar substitutes. Um, so, but there's also, before we move on, there's also some health benefits that are starting to come out in studies done on allulose. So one of those is that it's being, it actually is lowering blood sugar. It doesn't have an insulin response, but it's lowering blood sugar. So that's kind of an interesting phenomenon that's happening. And they also think that it, it might prevent fat storage. Yeah. So it actually uh, also has kind of an odd effect in that it can reduce HDL levels. Now, most people will think that that's a bad thing, but what it's actually doing is driving HDL that's already in the body into tissue and not necessarily turning off the production of HDL. It's also been shown to upregulate AMPK. Right, so AMPK is a signaling pathway that gets turned on or turned up when there's a reduction in nutrients available, right? And so when we're on a ketogenic diet, um, is a fasting mimicking diet also turns on AMPK. And this uh, is part of the reason why uh, there's longevity benefits is because, you know, if we just ate fewer calories over our lifetime, we would live longer. So being in a ketogenic state mimics that, even if you're eating the same calories, by upregulating this AMPK pathway, which allulose is also doing. So AMPK is kind of the antithesis to mTOR, which is the nutrient signaling pathway that says, let's build muscle, let's build tissue, right? AMPK is the opposite of that. It's like, let's protect, let's, you know, nutrients are not abundant. Um, so that's upregulating AMPK is a good thing. And so other things that upregulate AMPK would be exercise, intermittent fasting, other good things that you're doing for your body. So that's, it's something that's really, I think we should follow kind of the research that's coming out on allulose, but there's quite a bit and we put some links in the comments, um, in the show notes below. So, but there are a few things to know about cooking and baking with allulose. So interestingly, allulose browns faster than sugar. Now remember, allulose is a rare sugar, but it's actually browning, its browning capability is faster. So that means if you're gonna bake with it, you're gonna need to drop your oven temp. So about 25 degrees, so you're gonna drop your oven temp and then you're gonna increase your bake time three or four minutes you're really going to have to kind of play around with the sweet spot. So just pay attention and get your recipe adjusted for baking with allulose. So my mom made cupcakes with allulose yesterday, and she said, oh, I forgot to drop my oven temperature. But cupcakes are delicious. They're just brown. So they're just brown. Um, so then now if you're making a sauce or maybe you put it in a breading or a marinade or something like that, and then you're using some other heat application, so one example of this is like if you're making a caramel syrup, there's going to be a caramel syrup recipe that drops on this channel soon. Um, we actually have a keto pecan pie that uses allulose because you can make a syrup with allulose with just allulose and water. So you want as soon, like you have to really pay attention. So you, once it kind of hits that boil, you just got to sit there and smell it and you stir it constantly, just like you would sugar. You stir it constantly and as soon as you smell it start to brown, remove it from the heat and continue stirring until it stops simmering. Yeah, and I made that mistake, like just watching it, like, oh, it's browning, it's browning, and then it's, it's like, burnt. It's, it's burnt. Not. It's really quick. 
Yeah, and you definitely don't want to run around wasting ingredients. I right. mean, because no matter how you swing it, sugar alternatives cost more than sugar. So there's all kinds of great recipes with allulose coming to the channel, and hopefully those tips help you know how to kind of adjust recipes you already have to bake with it.